what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Florida again. This time is not as weird, but it is an interesting story. We have a young lady who was pulled over by the police in Tampa for driving a stolen vehicle. It happened just before 5 p.m. on Thursday on Hannah Avenue near 40th Street. The police say that the car was stolen. The woman says that she borrowed the car and did not know anything about the car being stolen. Now, the police, the woman said, held her at gunpoint. Janika Wilkerson recorded the whole incident on her cell phone, and she took exception to the fact that the police pointed the gun at her. And she said that he had no reason to do that because she was not a threat, she was compliant. She also took exception to the fact that they put her in handcuffs and inside of the squad car. They said, hey, basically, this is standard procedure. You're in a stolen vehicle. Y'all think that was fair? Was that, was it necessary? I'll answer it. I don't think it was necessary to pull the gun out. Maybe in the very first beginning, stolen car, okay, pull the gun out. But you order the people to get out of the car and, you know, one at a time, or at least you hold them there until you get your people there. And then, you know, you have them to step out of the car one at a time. I, I don't know. It's not like... It just seemed like to me these cops are too scary to be cops. They, they're too afraid to be in that type of profession, right? You know, because they, this is what's crazy to me about cops. They love to brag about being the tough guy in pursuit of the bad guy. You know, I'm here for justice and, and, and this is a brave job. It's a brave job profession. But in so many cases, we see them fearing for their lives and they're afraid of everything. So this is why they shoot and kill, they say. This is why they beat and torment, choke people out because they're afraid and they're just trying to make it home. Now, either you're brave or you're a coward. You can't be both. And it just seems to me that it's so many cowards working in law enforcement. I don't see myself pulling out a gun on that woman in that situation. Okay, let's just say that's protocol. Let's just say that is procedure. That you pull your gun. If it's a stolen car, you, you, you pull out your gun. Okay, I got the gun. I pull it out. Okay, stop. Um... Drivers, put your hands on the steering wheel. Okay, cool. I'm a little calm, a little bit more calm. She got a passenger. Okay, that might be a little dangerous. What I would do in that situation, I would call backup. I wouldn't take any chances. I'd call backup. But it depends on who's in that car. If I think it's just a woman and a little kid, I can handle that. But if it's a woman and it's a man, uh, these days, you know, two women. You gotta be real careful. So I would probably wait for backup. And then we get one of them out of the car at a time. And, you know, we make sure that they're not armed. And then we figure it out. But I just cannot see myself holding that gun on that woman that long. I can't see it. Like, he could have easily, she was parked in a driveway, so she wasn't going anywhere. So all he had to do is wait. 
Man, put the gun down. Even if you got the gun. Okay, say you got the gun out. Say you're still a little scared. You got the gun out, the gun on your side, and you're just waiting. You're chilling, you're waiting. You're chilling, you're waiting. You're chilling, you're waiting. I don't think he was afraid. I think he was trying to make her afraid. I think he was trying to instill fear in her and whoever the passenger was. Because they love pulling guns on black folks. And more than pulling guns on black folks, they love shooting black folks. It's a natural instinct. But tell me, fam, what do you think? Check out the video and leave your comments. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?